Basic life support, or BLS, is intended to slow or prevent damage to an unresponsive person until advanced care becomes available. The pediatric chain of survival in BLS focuses on preventing cardiac arrest as breathing difficulties are more likely to induce cardiac arrest in children and infants. In this video, we will demonstrate how one rescuer responds to a collapsed or unresponsive child in an emergency situation. Remember to always check the scene for safety before approaching. It is important to ensure that both you and the child are in a safe place, so quickly check for dangers such as fallen power lines, water, or traffic. Once clear, approach the child and shake their shoulders and loudly shout their name to determine if they are responsive. To check for a pulse, locate the carotid pulse point located on the side of the neck or the femoral pulse located on the inner thigh in the crease between the leg and the groin. Minimize interruptions for a minimum of 5 seconds and no longer than 10 seconds while checking for breathing and a pulse. If the child is unresponsive without normal respirations, call emergency response services and retrieve an AED. If alone, you will check for breathing and a pulse and perform two minutes of CPR before calling for help if the pulse is weak or indiscernible. Use your cell phone speaker to keep your hands free. Start by locating the end of the child's sternum where the ribs come together on the chest. Place two fingers on the tip of the breastbone and the heel on the other hand above the fingers for proper placement. Begin a cycle of 30 compressions with one hand, pressing one third of the depth of the chest at a rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute. Allow the chest to recoil entirely between chest compressions to allow the heart to refill. To deliver breaths, place the mask over the mouth and nose, creating a tight seal using four fingers of one hand around the top of the mask and the other hand's thumb around the bottom and tilt the head. Use a jaw thrust maneuver if a neck injury is possible. Deliver two breaths for every 30 compressions, watching the rise and fall of the chest. Do not overventilate. If the EMS has not arrived and the child is still unresponsive, you may use an AED if available. If an AED is available, move as quickly as possible to limit interruptions. For children younger than 8 years old or weighing less than 55 pounds or 25 kilograms, use the pediatric pads or key, depending on the machine. If the pads overlap on the chest, place one at the center of the chest and one on the back. Be sure to remove clothing to ensure good contact. Resume CPR until the AED prompts an action. When prompted, clear your hands from the child and allow the AED to analyze and follow the voice prompts. If the AED prompts you to deliver a shock, be sure to clear the child before activating the shock button. Continue with chest compressions, following the prompts from the AED until EMS arrives or the child's condition normalizes. If you enjoyed this video, and would like to learn more, check out our Medical Pro Certs video library on YouTube, or if you would like to certify in ACLS, BLS, PALS, or CPR, simply register and certify online today at www.medicalprocerts.com.